Welcome, Aries. This is Renee. Welcome back. And if this is your first time here, please like and subscribe. Make sure to hit that like button for your girl, please. I appreciate it and love you. Okay, let's get some energy. What's going on for Aries? What's going on for Aries? I'm liking this already. A new journey. A new beginning of raw energy. Okay, the star. Yeah, I'm liking this. Okay, the hermit. The emperor in reverse. The king of pentacles. The devil card. The Three of Swords in Reverse, the Six of Pentacles, and the Five, excuse me, the King of Swords in Reverse. Okay, at the bottom, we have the Justice card. Okay. Aries. So let's take a look. With the full of being in your overall energy, I feel like you're you're in this situation to where you are really hoping for a new beginning. You're ready to take that leap of faith. You're ready to take this new risk. You're and and I'm when I say risk, I feel like the words I'm getting is risk it all. You know, this is going to be huge. This is going to be a risk that you feel like it's worth taking okay so whatever the situation is i feel like you're willing to risk it all you're willing to take that leap and just trust right um with the star card I, I feel like you've gone through this healing through this feeling of um with the hermit next to it you've been alone for a while you know, you've gone through this healing and now you're you're preparing to let go of the control, which I feel like is very hard for you, Aries. It's very hard for you to let go of the control because it's not in your character. You're usually a person who, you know, really thrives on that control. So letting your guard down and willing to, you know, let go of the control of controlling the situation of you know, being the leader of the situation, I feel like, you know, you're letting that, you're letting that go, right? We have the King of Pentacles and the Three of Swords in reverse. The King of Pentacles energy, I feel like the situation that you're looking for, you're looking for more stability. You're looking to be, I want to say be pampered. Right. Because you you feel like in order to gain some kind of prosperity, there was a need for you to let go of control and just let things develop as they should. Let things like go with the flow. You know, um, I feel like you're you're recovering in some aspect. You're recovering some sort of stability, some sort of finances. If this is in love, I feel like, you know, you've gone through a period of separation and, you know, you've kind of thought to yourself that the situation isn't going to get better. So I got to get this stability on my own. I have to go through this, this, this discovery period to where I'm now recovering from whatever it is I was going through. I'm, I'm really getting that you're like, okay, stay calm. Stay away from drama. You know, I don't like drama. So you're like, I'm, I'm trying to stay on that right path. 
You know, I'm trying to follow the path that's going to lead me into something less negative, something less offensive, right? You're, you're like moving past that energy. You're looking for more things that are building up your stability with the Six of Pentacles. You know, you're looking for that reciprocity. Someone who feels the same way about life as you do. Okay? That could be because of this recovery that you just went through. I feel like with this Hermit energy, you've done a lot of soul searching. There's something that you've been thinking a lot about. Thinking about pursuing. This could be a person, a job, a location. Um, but I feel like you've been soul searching on making a move. Okay, and you feel like with this Six of Pentacles energy that there's going to be reciprocity. You are going to get exactly what you give to this, this situation. You're not going to get anything less because you're looking for nothing less, right? You're looking for more out of life. Okay, with this King of Swords in reverse... I feel like there's some sort of weakness that you have to some sort of addiction. If you notice, we have the uh, Emperor in Reverse, then we have the Devil, then we have the King of Swords in Reverse. The Emperor in Reverse, this is letting go of the control, not being able to take control of the situation. The Devil card, this is negative energy, right? This is also Capricorn energy. This is Aries energy, Aries in the middle. Right? So you're stepping out here very strongly in this reading. We also have the King of Swords energy. The King of Swords energy can sometimes be very cruel and bitter. Right? And he's like showing a weakness to a situation to where he otherwise wouldn't. So I feel like with this King of Swords energy, there's... There's a situation that you're not able to let go of. Something that you feel very bound to. This could be some sort of addiction or some sort of negative energy that you just can't release. There's something that is just bogging down your, your thoughts for this idea. And I feel like it's causing a lot of weakness. It's causing a lot of anger in you. Right. But we have the the justice card at the bottom. So I feel like I feel like there is some sort of balance that's coming forward for you. There's something that was unfair that is now going to be made right. You know, you felt very deprived of a certain situation. You felt like something just didn't go your way. This could be something to do with um some kind of court situation, some kind of justice you're going to be receiving. It is going to go your way, you know. Um, some kind of settlement offer will go your way, okay. Um, but right underneath that, if you look right underneath that, we have the Six of Cups in reverse. So I feel like, you know, the Six of Cups, this is nostalgia, you know, it's bringing up old memories, family, you know, situations. And with that card being in reverse, I feel like, you know, you're gaining some kind of independence here. You could be leaving home. You could be leaving a family. You know, there could be some sort of separation between you and a family situation, right? And we have the death card. So definitely some kind of ending and some kind of new beginning. This is something that's transforming within you. I feel I'm really getting with this reading that there's some sort of spiritual awakening happening with you. There's some kind of shift. And I feel like it's a really massive shift with this full card, the star, the hermit, and then this whole row here. This is a massive a massive shift that you're going through. I feel like there's something that you're doing, there's something that you're pursuing that's going totally against your character. It's something that you would not do. Maybe you're thinking about 
pursuing a third party situation or maybe you're thinking about totally going in a new direction but i feel like this is something totally out of your character and you are willing to release the control okay let's go ahead and take a look let's clarify these cards let's be a little nosy Give me a message, Spirit. Why is the star? Give me a message for the star. Why is the star here for Aries? Why is the star here for Aries? The Queen of Pentacles. Yeah, you're looking for more stability. You're looking for... Look at this. We have the King of Pentacles, the Queen of Pentacles. You're looking for um, more stability. Something that's solid. Something I feel like you're working on. Look, we have the Six of Pentacles again at the bottom. Um, for some of you, I feel like this is a new relationship that you're pursuing, but I feel like the person that you're pursuing is not available. The person that you're pursuing is already attached to someone or they're married um, with children. That's the reason why we have the Six of Cups in reverse, you know? Um, wow. Okay. But I'm, I'm feeling like you're very comfortable. If, if this is the person that you're seeking, I feel like you're very comfortable with this person. Um, this person brings you a lot of stability. And you're, what's so amazing is you're willing to let go of the control. You know, this person is taking you out of your normal character. And you're going through this massive shift. These massive changes. Give me a message. Why is the King of Pentacles here? Okay. Okay, so we have, for the King of Pentacles, we have the Nine of Swords and the Two of Wands. So I'm getting with this Nine of Swords, Two of Wands, that you're not sure what the future is going to bring. You're not sure how this is going to turn out. And I feel like you're, you're worried about being alone. That's what I feel. That's the message that I'm getting. You're, you're, you're worried that this person is going to not choose you the way that you're choosing them you know you you feel like this person might let you down you know they might be walking away hmm give me a message why is the three of swords in reverse why is the three of swords in reverse I feel like if this is a third party situation that you're walking into, Aries, I feel like this is totally out of your character because this is something that you never thought that you would do. This is something that you really had no intentions of doing. But I'm getting that you are feeling like you are totally drawn to this person. You know, um, I feel like this may be something magnetic. This may be some kind of twin flame journey that you're going on okay um give me a message for the three of swords this one the four of swords yeah you you've been focusing on yourself focusing on your healing and i feel like you're with this three of swords in reverse and this four of swords i, I really feel like you know, you're tired of being alone. You know, you're ready to move past this. You're ready to stop focusing on yourself and start focusing on you and this person as a unit, as a couple, as something greater, right? And I feel like you're, you're having a lot of strength in this situation. You may be going days at a time without talking to this person, but I feel like you feel for this person very deeply. You have great feelings for this person and you feel like you'll never be together. You feel like you'll never have the opportunity to let them know exactly how you feel because you've been holding back. 
you know, um, four of wands in reverse. Yeah, you've been holding back. You've been keeping a lot of things to yourself because you don't want to offend anybody. You've been like going back and forth about this situation because I feel like you are really morally against starting something that seems so drama like right because i i absolutely know that you're the type of person who wants to be in control of the situation you don't want to feel out of control you know and this is taking you straight out of your comfort zone i don't feel like you've been in the situation before we have the hermit and the seven of pentacles I feel like you're working on um, the answers or the solutions. You're working on the solutions. You're in search of guidance and wisdom. And you're like sorting things out in your head. You're trying to figure things out. Aries, you're, you're trying very hard to figure things out. Because I, I know you don't want to be in the situation that's going to put you in this predicament right and i don't know why Whoa. Hmm. we have the seven of cups at the bottom you have so many things going through your head so many solutions so many options with the full card we have the five of cups yeah you're worried about this new beginning not happening you're like grieving this process be you're in the sadness because you feel like this is something that will never be how do i get myself in this situation you know that's what i'm channeling that's what i'm getting you feel like how did i get here you know um give me a message for the six of pentacles give me a message for the six of pentacles Yeah, the Ace of Cups in reverse. And we have the Hermit in reverse. You're tired of being alone. You're tired of going it alone. You know, you're ready to be attached to someone. I feel like you may have been alone for a while. You know, you may have been single for a while and now you're ready to move forward. You're ready to take that commitment seriously. But I feel like if... now. Take it how it resonates, you know, take what fits and leave what doesn't, okay? If this isn't a third-party situation for you, take what fits and leave what doesn't, okay? Um, but I feel like with this Six of Pentacles and this Ace of Cups, in reverse. You know, you're you feel like you're blocking your blessings here by taking on something that you really don't believe in, that you really don't believe will work, but you're magnetically drawn to the situation, so you're trying to see it out. You're trying to figure it out. But I feel like there's some kind of emotional loss that you're going through. And with this hermit in reverse, you're tired of being alone. You're ready to have this fulfillment, you know. You're ready to stop being in this loneliness. Stop feeling rejected. And, you know, you are, you're willing to go the limits for someone very special. And I feel like whoever this person is, you see them as your stability as someone who offers a great deal to you someone who kind of mirrors your energy someone who is having the same likes and dislikes as you yeah with the emperor we have the high priestess yeah i feel like this person that you are dealing with this person that you're dealing with balances you they make you feel like you're in control even when you feel like you're not right and with this judgment card at the bottom 
I feel like you are really feeling like this is the beginning of something. It's the beginning of something special, right? This is the, the justice card, excuse me, the judgment card. This is an awakening. You know, you, you may be going through some kind of spiritual awakening when it comes to this person. 1010, a spiritual awakening. Look it up. Okay? But I, I'm really getting that, you know, you're really looking back. You're reflecting. The, the judgment card can also be the card of stepping out of your comfort zone and seeing what lies ahead, right? Um, moving past where you've always been and moving forward into something greater. Give me a message for the devil card. Why is the devil here? Capricorn energy. Why is the devil here? The five of, five of wands. Yeah, you are really afraid of competition and, and, and drama. You're like, I don't want any part of it. I don't want any part of this negative energy. You know, you try very hard to stay away from it. And I, I feel like if this is a third party situation, and it doesn't have to be, like I keep saying, it doesn't have to be, but that's the feeling that I keep being drawn to. Uh, I feel like you're very uncomfortable being in a situation where there's another person involved. You don't like competition. You don't like having to fight for something, right? You, you are this authority figure. You know, you take control of the situation. You watch things happen because you're the emperor, okay? But I, I feel like it's taking you straight out of your comfort zone. Why is the King of Swords in reverse? Why is the King of Swords in reverse? Whew. The Page of Cups and we have the Four of Wands. I feel like even though you're not sure about the situation, you're going to go ahead and make an offer anyway. Okay? Um... You're not sure of where the situation is going to lead, lead you, but you're willing to take a risk. You're willing to take a risk, even though you're having all these mixed emotions, because you feel like it's going to bring you to this happiness, to this union. Okay? This may be someone that you are destined to be with. You know, this may be this soulmate, twin flame energy that you're magnetically drawn to. You know, a, a twin flame is two, two spirits. They're two souls. But actually, it's one soul because they're magnetically drawn to each other to be one, to be one soul, okay? That's what a twin flame is. And twin flames are very rare, but when they do happen, it's very magnetic. They're, mag they're magnetically drawn to each other. They're, you know, they seem to keep meeting up with no specific reason. You know, they're just drawn to the same locations. You know, you may end up seeing somebody and you may meet them on several occasions in different locations just by chance. This is, this is a characteristic of a twin flame because you're magnetically drawn to each other um, like a moth to a flame, right? And these are, are people who are likely to be drawn to each other for eternity, you know? Once you meet, there's no turning back. You've met that magnetic match, and now you're going to be drawn to each other. There may be times when there's this in and out situation when it comes to a twin flame, but you're magnetically drawn to each other. So there's this bond with this person forever. It doesn't matter if this person is attached, if they're unattached, if they're 
you know, bonded to another sex, bonded to the same sex, it doesn't matter. If you're magnetically drawn to a person, it's going to be for eternity, right? And I feel like you feel like it's going to last, okay? This is something that's very exciting. It's very nurturing. It's very um, appealing, right? You feel like this person, it, there's a lot of lust here. There's a lot of sexual chemistry with this person, okay? It brings along a lot of healing, a lot of feeling of things being made right. Finally, things being made right, okay? It could lead to a proposal, family. Wow, the Empress, right? Oh my, my beautiful Aries. Okay, so let's go ahead and get, let's get an Oracle card for you. We'll go ahead and since this seems to be a love reading, we'll go ahead and go with the love oracle. Messages for Aries. What does Aries need to know? Messages for Aries. Okay, children. Your love life is being affected by children. So there could be children in this situation. Children can be affecting your decisions or their decisions. Okay? Um... What else do we have for Aries? True love. This is a romance of a lifetime. What did I tell you? I told you. This feels very much like a twin flame situation. It is safe for you to love. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. Even though you feel like you're out of control, I feel like the spirit is letting you know this is safe. It's safe. This is this is the person that you were meant to be with. Okay. Let's go ahead and pull your angel number. My beautiful Aries. Let's pull your angel number. <clears throat> okay, we have 911. Courage. A doorway has opened for you while apprehension may be felt. Allow courage to flow as you put your best foot forward. You are being encouraged to let curiosity lead you and know that the divine has your back. Your affirmation, I allow to prevail as curiosity leads me through new doors. Okay. Okay, you know what? I think we're going to pull a fortune oracle as well. Oh, okay. We have the sun. Open your heart to the enormous growth ahead. Okay, I'll go ahead and read for you what that means. It's the number 30. The number 3. The number 30. Okay, we have the sun card will bring great joy to your life. You can expect to be happier, happier, more fun loving and self-confident. The sun basically shines on your life and personal growth speeds up immensely. This card also enhances creative thinking and you will be able to open up your feelings and communicate better than in the past. The time is right for taking holidays, too. So go and book that cruise, overseas trip, or romantic getaway. Your personal relationships. For singles, searching for love is very possible for you. You will find a brand new relationship that will be fulfilling and exactly what you're looking for. Those in existing relationships could reignite the passion and rifts from the past could finally be forgiven. 
there's enormous growth for married couples seeing each other in a fresh light. Great accomplishments surround difficult relationships with friends and family members. This is a truly wonderful time for those feeling a little lost and lonely to join a local club, sporting activities, or even charitable functions because it is certain you will find like-minded people to form firm friendships with. You could find yourself in, a, in the spotlight with all these blissful energies. With your money, we have kicking a goal on the work front makes others proud. This is a great card if you're looking for a new job. It could be just around the corner and the money being offered is a lot better than usual. Now is also an ideal time to start a small business or learn difficult skills. Okay, your power tip. Place the motive, motive of a colorful rooster in your kitchen for our well-being for the whole household. Yellow and orange flowers in the home enhance great communication. And a large bowl filled with fresh fruit on the dining room table will bring good health and abundance. Okay, so that is the sun card. That's what that means. So beautiful. Beautiful. Beautiful energy. So whether you're an apprehensive about the situation or not, I feel like Spirit is letting you know that this is all going to work out for your greater good. It's all going to work out for your best interests. Okay? Have courage in your situation and step forward on faith. Okay, my beautiful Aries. This is your reading. If this reading resonates, please like and subscribe. If it doesn't, make sure to take a look at your other placements. They could be resonating with you more at this time. And my beauties, before you step out, if you can please hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't. Thank you so much. Until your next reading, many blessings to you. Love and beautiful light.